In this video, I'll take you to a site which was designed and set up to help people familiarise themselves with a common European framework of reference. On this site, I'll click through with you and show you different familiarisation activities, and I'll show you benchmark examples where learner performances have been benchmarked against the different levels of the CFR, so that you can familiarise yourself how people interpret the levels and how you could incorporate these scales into your teaching. OK, here we are at the CEFTRAIN project homepage. The CEFTRAIN was a project commissioned again by the European Council in order to develop materials for practitioners to familiarise themselves with the CFR. So what you find here on the first page is information about the CEFTRAIN project, the partner institutions, you find information, an overview of how to get to know the CFR, there's familiarization pages and the training area. And the same kind of links you find here in the top page to navigate you through, you can go on the pages getting to know the CIF, on the familiarization area and the training area. And if you think this is all too much information, the project people have compiled helpful information in a user manual, which you can then relate to if you want to find your way through. OK, let's have a look how we can get to know the CFR. Under this heading, you find information, brief information on the CFR, the approach adopted, the user groups it is aimed at, the document itself and a historical overview. Browse these pages at your own leisure. OK, now we're in the familiarization area where you find useful information on the scales themselves and also on where the descriptors come from and should you not be too familiar with the scale system you find helpful introductory activities here what you can do with the scales and how you can interpret the levels. Now let's have a look what we can do as introductory activities with the scales. For example let's have a look at reconstructing a scale. And let's assume you're interested in spoken production. What we get here is, is the broken down scale for spoken production. And when you move your mouse over the coloured buttons, you see the descriptors popping up. Can produce simple main isolated phrases about people and places, says the black button. And the green, for example, say, can produce clear, smoothly flowing, well-structured speech, and so on. And your task is then to bring these descriptors in a naturally ascending order. And at the end, when you've reordered your descriptors, the program will show you the solution and you can see whether you got it right. Another area which you may find interesting is the so-called training area. Here you find different tasks to rate language tasks and actual learner productions against the CFR. Again you have different communicative activities, for example let's stay with the speaking. In this area you have to familiarise yourself with the task and the speaking sample. The task is given here. That was a task given to the student, and then you see an actual video. Uh, cancer societies in Europe have several uh, very important goals they think are the most important in cancer control. First of all, an actual student sample which you can play as often as you need to. Then you can go on to the scales. Here you have the scales of the CFR and you have to assess the student's production against the, set, the scales and once you've done all the assessment for the different scales the program will actually show you what other experts have rated and you can compare yourself to the other experts. Well in this last video I've taken you to the page of the CEFTRAIN project and the main aim of this project is to help you familiarise yourself with the CFR as a document and particularly with the scales and how you can use the scales to assess learner performance or to judge difficulty and the demands of different language tasks.